Hello, Aloha Fridays. It's cocktail time. So today, throughout all these videos, I've really focused on doing cocktails that you can easily do at home without a lot of specialized uh, mixers or um, specialized uh, alcohols. Well, sometimes to do something really cool, a little bit special, you gotta splurge. And that's what we're doing today. But with that said, I'm gonna still show you how to do this particular cocktail kind of on the cheap or kind of on a secondary way. It still comes out very similar. It's not the exact same thing, but it still comes out very similar. It might be a little bit easier to do. So this is a cocktail that is originally called, or something I should say I modified from a cocktail called a Q1908, and it uses Empress Gin. Now, Empress Gin is a very nice gin um, out of Victoria, um, British Columbia. It's from the Empress Hotel. And I don't know if you can see this, but it has a very distinct blue hue to it, a bluish purple hue to it. And it's a very classy vodka, I'm sorry, a very classy gin. And it's actually quite good. It's one of these, those gins that is not, um, you know, that you can drink straight up. But we're gonna do a cool color changing cocktail with this. It's probably around $40 a bottle, give or take a few dollars, um, at least where in my area. That may be a little bit steeper than you wanna do. So I'm gonna also show you how to do it on the fly using Butterfly PT, and then just using any particular gin. And this is Butterfly um, Tea Gin. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it on eBay, even some health food stores have it. And what's distinctive about it is it has, I don't know if you can see this, I'll, try, I'll put up a picture in a minute, but it has these very nice little blue flowers. And it also produces a tea that has this exact same bluish purple hue to it. So let's review how to do this first. And we're gonna make this into a simple syrup and then use a regular gin. Or as I said, I'm gonna cheat, or not cheat, I'm gonna do it the classic way and use Empress Gin. So what you wanna do with this cocktail in order to make kind of the um, workaround is you get a hold of this tea. Honestly, four bags will do it for you. You get a hold of some butterfly tea or but butterfly PT, you boil up four bags or four servings, what would typically be four cup loads of the tea in about a cup of water. You dissolve in about a cup of sugar and you end up with this very nice blue purplish simple syrup. Now with that, you can then take it and put it into gin, um, any, any regular gin. In fact, you know, you can put it into a Bombay gin. I have the exact proportions down, down in the description. So um, you can do that. It gives you this bluish hewn gin, and that's what we need. We need this bluish purple hewn gin. But like I said, I'm going to use Empress Gin today. And we start off with the Empress Gym. And actually what we need to start off well, before we get anything else going is we, this really looks great in a martini glass. And I've got a martini glass here, chilling down. It's very nice. It'll, it'll, it'll just really accentuate that color change when, when we get to that point. So we've got that cooling down. We're gonna take our Empress Gym this also, um, you can do this entire cocktail in a single shaker, but I, I'm actually gonna be using two shakers today just because I'm kind of lazy. So we take our Empress Gin, and we pour two, oops, sorry, long shaker. We pour two, two ounces of Empress Gin, into our cocktail shaker. And again, it's got this great 
um, bluish purple hue to it, and you can just really smell it coming off the shaker. It smells really good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little simple syrup. We're going to take an ounce of simple syrup. So we have that, and we're going to put some ice into our shaker, and we're going to shake it. Now we're not really shaking this to mix it up. Uh, does it quite nice. There's not much ingredients in it, so we don't have to shake it that much for a mixing thing, but we are trying to chill it down. So we have that chilled down. I'm just going to set this off to the side for a few minutes while we do the next step. And the next step involves an egg white. So I've got my second shaker here. Again, you can do this after you already take this uh, concoction of gin and simple syrup and put it into your cup. But it's also easier, it's really easier to do it in a second shaker. If you have a second shaker, you can whip it up in advance. Um, there are a couple different ways you can do it. This cocktail does take a little bit of pre-thought to it. So we're gonna take one egg white. We've got one egg white here. And we put it into a dry shaker. There's no ice in here. We put it into a dry shaker. And we're gonna take a little bit of powdered sugar, confectioner's sugar. Not quite a bar spoon, but just enough to give it slightly sweeter flavor. And we're gonna dry shake that. Now, I don't, you could put ice in here, but honestly, it doesn't do any good, just makes noise. And really, like I've said in the past, um, dry shaking, really helps emulsify um, ingredients and really starts to get this egg white whipped up. So we're going to put this off to the side now as well. So we have our chilled glass. Yeah, it's nice and frothy, nice and chilled. And we're going to decant without ice our cocktail into this glass. You should be able to see this has got this nice, nice bluish, I'll step aside so you can see that. It's got this nice bluish purple look to it. It's really pretty. Now, once we've get, got that done, we take our egg white, Shake it just a little bit more. And we're going to decant the egg white carefully onto the top of this cocktail. This is not really a cocktail you want to mix. We're not trying to mix this cocktail. This is one you want to kind of be natural, so to speak. I use a small egg, so I have to get all that out there. Then I'm going to take just a touch more powdered sugar. And this is one of those drinks that really is nice if you kind of prepare it in front of your guests. That's where all the magic is. And just touch the top of the cocktail. It kind of looks like frosty peaks. Now, this is why I call this cocktail the Empress's New Groove, because we take this cocktail from this nice blue color, and I've got one ounce of lemon juice here, and this is exactly what you want to do in front of your guests. You pour that right down the middle carefully, and if you can see here, you get this cool separation. You get this cool separation, this pink and this blue, and it just looks really cool. Encourage your guests not to mix it up. 
let them drink it as is because it on the flavor honestly changes as you drink it like this. I think this is just a cool, impressive cocktail. It's a little classy, it's something you break out for a nice dinner party. But I really hope you like this cocktail. As I said, you don't have to do it with Empress Gin. That's the classic way to do it. Um, you can do it with the Butterfly PT. And again, I've got all the directions for you down below. And you can see I threw up some pictures for you. So I hope you enjoy this one. Have it at your next dinner party. And I'll see you next Friday. I just feel really sophisticated drinking this.